Hi, hello, it's Anne. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to whatever the heck this is going to be. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a daily vlog because if I'm going to have any chance at all of editing and posting this by the time I want this edited and posted, it's... I'm pretty sure it's going to have to be a daily vlog. Um, I've never done one of these before, so I'm... I don't know how long it's going to be. I don't know what's going to be in it. I'm just... I don't know, okay? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> Welcome to my Wednesday. Uh, today is the 19th of August. I woke up at 5 a.m. this morning, then I took Napoleon for a walk, and then I started work at 7 a.m. So I got home around 5.30 p.m. And basically what I've been doing since then is I took a shower, and I changed into some comfy clothes because I've been sweating in my work clothes for like 10 hours today and it's it's like 30 degrees outside and I'm I'm not here for it I'm telling you I'm just I can't function in the heat I just I can't wait for fall I can't wait it's gonna be great uh, something really really exciting that I opened up when I got home was a package containing <gasps> these beauties these beauties oh oh i'm, I'm gonna show you some close-ups don't worry about it don't worry about it uh, basically this company anna luisa reached out to me and asked if i wanted to pick out a couple of things from their website and this is what i chose so the first thing that i chose was this seal locket and it's 14k gold on sterling silver and then you have the lapis lazuli i am 100 percent mispronouncing that but that's that's the blue stone in there and then i think it's cubic zircona the last one cubic zirconia the pronunciation today is is rough and i apologize <laughs> so i chose this lock at first because i've always had this this kind of romanticized idea ever since I was a kid. I've I've always been fascinated and loved lockets and like medallions. Is that I don't think that's the right word in English. I think locket is yeah. In Swedish it's medallion. Swedish lesson of the day. Yay. Uh <laughs> just the fact of having something that it's like it's not just a piece of jewelry it's not just a necklace it's like something where you can you can put a photo or a little note or um you know you can put something that means a lot to you and it's kind of like a little keepsake and for me it's always been this this amazing amazingly like intimate thing almost like carrying something with you that just it holds so much value and so much meaning to you that it's far beyond like any any jewelry that you could just go and buy because of what's inside of the jewelry. Does that make any sense? I don't know. Maybe I'm just being silly, but that's that's something that's been with me ever since I was a kid. So when I found this, I was I was sold. I'm like I need that. And then I had a look at around at the website and I found these matching earrings. And <laughs> Again, it's 14k gold pleated silver. The silver is 100% recycled. And then you have the lapis lazuli. Is that? Is, yeah. That one. And then you have the the pearls as well. And I am. Um, I love it. I love them so much. I love this company. It's Ana Luisa. They're a New York based jewelry company that are striving for sustainability and carbon neutrality by the end of this year and they are using recycled materials whenever possible and everything is ethically sourced and there are no like crazy markups and they keep really really fair prices and uh yeah i'm so happy that this company reached out to me Thank you so much, Anna Luisa, for sending these beautiful, beautiful pieces to me. So, with that said, I want to say that these pieces were sent to me as a gift to show to you guys. 
and they also provided me with a 10% off discount code which will be ANCAKES10 and I'll have it linked in the description box down below however it's like it's not sponsored it's not affiliated it's just 10% off for like amazingly cool sustainable jewelry and uh, if that's something that you want to check out the link is in the description but without further ado I'm gonna move on with my day so yeah I'm pretty sure I've been rambling for way 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 too long at this point and I kind of forgot what I started updating you guys on basically right now it's already 6 30 what the heck it's 6 30 p.m already and I have so much things I need to do today uh first of all I bought I bought a little life vest for Napoleon because uh, we're currently building a pool or like more of a spa but Napoleon loves swimming the problem is he doesn't know how to swim <laughs> so I um I got him a little life vest and it's the most adorable thing I've ever seen in my life so I'm, I'm gonna try that out and he's gonna go for a swim but a little bit later first I have work to do um, I need to, I really need to sketch out my September plan with me in my bullet journal. I'm not really sure what theme I want for the bullet journal for this month. I've gotten some inspiration because at work we have these gorgeous flowers on the tables in the the dining room and like can you have a look have a look at the colors like that is incredible and whenever i look at these flowers they just make me happy it's like little sun just shining joy <laughs> from each table in the dining room and it's just i love them so much i just i feel like i need to paint them and i figured why don't I make that my theme for September? On the other hand, I've done like flower themes for my bullet journal for like a lot of months in a row now and I kind of feel like maybe I should do something else. But I kind of want to do this, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. I think I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this. Okay, this is my September theme. Um, so at least I'm gonna sketch that out today and and once that's sketched out I'm probably not gonna start filming that today I'll film a little bit later in the week because there's really no rush I have time I have time it's fine um, however I have a pet commission a little doggy portrait that I really want to start because I'm excited about it but I just haven't had the time to start it until now so I think I think I'm gonna start painting that tonight and then try to make it an early-ish night tonight probably because I have work tomorrow at 6 a.m. and there's like a big corporate event happening at work tomorrow so there's it's gonna be a hectic day I'm gonna try to catch an early night for once but we'll see how that goes because I feel like I say that I'm gonna go to bed early every night but it never happens so, mm -hmm. okay, I've been rambling for like 15 minutes now and I'm not sure if there's any usable footage whatsoever. So I'm just gonna go ahead, uh, start sketching and I guess we'll see what the heck this is when it's time to edit. Yeah, okay. <laughs>
Okay, so it's almost 11 and Okay, so I did actually finish the the part of the bullet journal just sketching out all the spreads that I wanted to do today. However, um <laughs> the, the doggo portrait is like I basically just did the basic sketch and then transferred it onto my um my watercolor paper. So, yeah, that took way longer than I thought it was going to do. But it's like a hard angle because it's like I'll insert a photo right here of the Bork because um, it's like with the dimensions like what's it called like the foreshortening and I struggled a lot with the sketch so uh, I think I finally got it so I transferred it <sighs> and um, I am I am so tired you guys um but yeah I sketched it out and then I transferred it onto my watercolor paper so I just need to clean it up a little bit and then I can start painting however yeah it's quarter to 11 and I need to wake up at like 5 a.m. tomorrow so part of me this part of me the yawning part of me uh, is like hey let's let's go to bed so we can sleep for like at least a few hours and uh, the other part of me is like well, I could start painting just a little bit, but I know that if I start painting now, I'm gonna forget the whole concept of time and space, and I am gonna realize at like 2 a.m. that I need to wake up soon. So uh, I think I'm gonna be responsible, and I'm gonna be like, hey, let's actually go to bed. Um, so remember when I said this was gonna be like a one-day vlog type deal um yeah i changed my mind because <laughs> i just don't feel like i've done anything really like interesting today so you know the majority of my day was just me at work and i can't film at work because it's it's hella busy yeah okay so i think i think i'm gonna go to bed yeah I'm gonna go to bed. Am I? Am I though? Should I paint just a tiny bit? No, no I shouldn't. So yeah, I'm gonna go to bed now and then I will probably start painting tomorrow and probably also start editing this vlog tomorrow and kind of see what footage I have because I feel like it's not interesting enough. On the other hand, I know that I love, like personally, I love watching vlogs that are like more like everyday life type stuff so uh even though it's like i love studio vlogs like the type of vlogs that bailey j does for example and uh joy is like it's art related but it's like more of that personal touch to it which i enjoy a lot so i don't know what you guys enjoy but uh, that's something that I personally like watching. So maybe I'm just like overthinking this and being like, maybe it's just, maybe it's just a vlog. Maybe it's not a studio vlog. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna get some rest and I'll check in with you guys in a few hours. Okay, good night. Hi, hello. It's currently the next day. It's Thursday and it's 5 20 p.m i've gotten home from work just like a minute ago and i did stop for ice cream on the way back so uh i got i got that to look forward to um also i'm really excited about actually like painting because i feel like i haven't been painting for a while have i i don't know i don't know i feel like i've just been prioritizing sleeping lately and um you know that that's good and all but i miss painting so 
Uh, I'm excited to, to do some painting today and I'm gonna be working on the doggo portrait that I started yesterday and uh, I still need to clean it up a little bit and then I'm gonna start painting. I'm gonna be using wash because that's my fave now. <laughs> That's what I'm going to be doing and I figured I'm going to talk to you guys now because before I start painting I'm going to go take a shower and then I'm going to look even more naked than I already am. So, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll check in with you guys in a little bit. Okay, I'm going to go take a shower and put my PJs on. Oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. Okay, and then we'll be painting. I'm excited. Okay, let's go. Oh, uh, okay. Hi. Hello. Voiceover in here. I uh, just figured I would come in and talk a little bit over this speed painting portion of the video because it's it's quite long and frankly, I <laughs> I feel like you have to make speed painting videos a little bit more interesting cuz I personally get bored when I when I watch the videos with just the music over them. So I figured I'd just come in here and kind of talk about what I'm doing and and stuff. I, I'm honestly not sure what I'm gonna talk about. As per usual, when I do my voiceovers, they're usually quite um quite rambly because I don't have a script when I do my voiceovers. I kind of just turn on the microphone and see what happens. <laughs> um. So yeah, not 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 sure what to say. This this portrait was a struggle oh my lord i struggled so hard <laughs> starting off i i felt like i made the face like too long and narrow and i i was struggling for for quite a while with just like getting the proportions right and stuff and the sketch took me absolutely forever you guys it took me probably like an hour and a half just to do the basic sketch because foreshortening is it's um not not my strong suit uh and i also go over the face so many times because i kept struggling with the white parts especially like the eyebrows i felt like i either overdid it or i didn't do it enough and so i feel like i kind of like paint over them then repaint them about 14,000 times before I'm ready with this project, but uh, um, same goes with the beard part of, of the little schnout area. Uh, <laughs> I re I overdid it, like you can see what I'm doing right now, I'm just, I'm painting the beard like way too long and it's it's supposed to be more like contained, a little bit more trimmed and uh, I, I fixed that in the end, so don't worry but um, yeah, I also really really struggled with one of the eyes because it was just, it was looking mean I don't know why, but it, it was looking like a mean work for a while so I fixed that too, don't worry, don't worry um, I also did the huge mistake of splattering paint in the background. I'm gonna undo all of that in just a sec. So yeah, here we go. I uh, I decided to try to like dissolve as much of the yellow paint as possible and then I just painted over it with some gray and uh, kind of made this like speckly kind of effect and uh, I like this way way better. And I also feel like it really really helped when I trimmed down the page so I made it more of a square and I feel like that helped the whole the whole piece just come together even better so yay um yeah all in all this this was a struggle it was a uh, challenge for sure and uh, I I don't know why I keep struggling to make fluffy borks like whenever <laughs> Whenever they're super fluffy, it's just it's so hard to see like the facial features and stuff like that and it's it's so hard to capture. But I feel like I'm I'm practicing and I'm getting better slowly but surely. Also, now I'm fixing the beard. Thank God. There you go. So much better. So much better. <laughs> um yeah. I'm not sure what else to say. That's pretty much the portrait. I 
feel like it turned out better than than I thought it would. Like somewhere in the middle there, I was kind of like about to give up and restart because I was not feeling it. But in the end, it came together and I'm really happy about it. And um, yeah, at this point, I'm not sure what to say, so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> um, that's pretty much all I have for you guys today. So. Um, Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're having a lovely day or night or evening or whatever it is as you're watching this. And I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you so much for watching and happy painting. Bye!